Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. And today we're just going to be looking at this whole process of getting your world and putting it on the dedicated server so other people can then join while you are doing other stuff and not locked in. Before we get into that though, you need to understand how Valheim saves work. There's two kinds of saves that Valheim has. There's your world and then your character. And then for characters, this will get saved every time you log off. Your character save gets saved on your Xbox or on your PC. The server doesn't keep any information about your character except the location of the tombstone. But that's it. Your character itself is actually saved to your computer. So now let me show you where you can find that file because it's not actually in your typical Valheim installation. To find your Valheim world and character saves, you actually need to navigate to a hidden folder in Windows called App Data. So to do that, you need to go into Users, and then the user that installed Valheim, and then you won't see the folder because it's hidden. So you have to go up here and type App Data. And then you'll get Local, Local, Low, and Roaming. Go into Local, Low, then Iron Gate, and then Valheim. And this is where all your info is, all right? And what you're gonna wanna do for your world is go to this world's local thing here. This is where the game saves the worlds that you make. The world gets saved as two files. There's this file here, this database file. And then in addition to that, there's an FWL file. So this is a Valheim save world. This combat trials, combat trials, FWL. These two files is your whole Valheim world and everything you need to back it up. So if you have these two files, you have your Valheim world. So what you would do is copy this and then go into your dedicated server and put it there. Let me show you exactly how to do it. First, go to your host, in this case is app, and you wanna get your FTP information. This is how you kind of look at the files directly that are on the server. And in Zap, you can browse to the bottom left under Tools in the Navigation Panel and click on FTP Browser. And this will give you the login information here. Use this login information in a program such as FileZilla or something similar. When you log into the server, it might give you a message saying it's unsecured. Don't worry about that, just, just log through. That means that if someone really wanted to hack you and look at your Valheim server, they could. Like while you're doing this, they could do that if they want to. Right? This is sort of the, 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 the name of your server from your server's perspective. Then once you open it, you have all of these files. Go into the Valheim Linux file, and here, this might look familiar, you have this world's local folder. This is where you put the world that's actually gonna be used. But that alone isn't going to be enough because as you can see, there's actually a lot of files here. The server is gonna look at a specific file. So you have to tell it which one to look at. And to do that, you need to go into your settings on your website. Here we are on the server page. We need to scroll down and go to settings under the second part of the navigation panel. And here we'll scroll down and then you can see the save game name. This is where you specify exactly which save game that's on the server it's going to use. And it has to match the name. So see how this says new quest? If I made this new quest Z, then when I launched the server, instead of using the new quest world file, and the, the two files I just showed you, right? Instead of using those, it would just make a new world, a brand new world called New Quest Z. So this has to exactly match the name of your server, okay? 
turn your server off, you pick this, you save it, and then while the server is still off, you log on, you do your switch, and then you turn the server back on after these files have fully loaded onto the server. And you have to turn the server off before you switch the files because it'll actually save the world file when it turns off. So if you switch the files while the server is running and turn the server off, it'll replace the files that you put there with the files that you just erased. So you have to turn it off, log in through the FTP browser, change them, upload them, wait a minute or two to be safe, and then turn the server back on and it'll just boot into the world that you specify here. And that's all that you need to do to get your save game working on a dedicated server. There's a whole lot more that you can do. For example, if you want to start a new world but save certain buildings, you can use a mod called Plan Build. I have information all about that. If you want more videos and you want to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial that's all about setting up your own and purchasing your own dedicated server. This shows you exactly how to do it. And if there's anything you'd like me to make a video about, then please comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!